What are some ball activities that you like? Stay in the house. <laughs> are you okay? Wow. That was a lot of different flavors. She got the right place, baby girl. Shoot. Damn. My I'm, bad. So, I'm so damn. I wonder what percent alcohol this is. 12.5. Well, in that case. Hey guys, happy Friday. Oh my gosh, I am so happy it's Friday. Like the last couple weeks have been so much celebrating my birthday, just everything like we're gonna get into that later, but today's agenda. So first I had work this morning. Um Fridays are usually pretty chill because it's no meeting day, but I had work this morning. I went to the gym. Um, right now I'm going to Trader Joe's because tonight I want to do like a little charcuterie pasta and wine night type of vibe with like some games. So I do want to buy like some different types of wine to try out. I want to do my nails because I took them off yesterday and I don't know if you guys know, but I've been doing my own nails, like my own gel extensions, like all year, literally. So I'm doing my own nails probably today as well. Oh, I also, when I get home, I need to eat lunch and um, finish up some work. So we have quite the day ahead of us. So why don't you just stay tuned if you want to see how I'm winding down tonight. Okay, I'm walking up to Trader Joe's now. So what I'm trying to get here is the stuff for my charcuterie. I've only made a charcuterie board one time and I literally told myself that I would never make another one again. But I don't know why I've been craving it. So like part of my birthday, I went to Chateau Alain, which is like a winery resort. And I had like a really good charcuterie board and I had um, some really wine and ever since some really good wine. And ever since then, I've just been craving charcuterie and wine. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make some tonight. So let's just see how that goes. I'm gonna try to keep it cute though. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Uno of those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. why i was in there for so long i was in there for like an hour but i am really so tired luckily i got almost everything that i need i only have two more things i need to get from Publix, so i'm gonna go head over to Publix. i just need the brie like the round shape brie because the brie that i got the brie that they had at trader joe's was like the triangle one and i want the round one so i can cut it up real cute and then i want um i need some onion powder which i could have got at trader joe's but I didn't think of it until I was leaving, so I'm out of onion powder, so I definitely need that. But I decided to get salmon to make my Tuscan pasta instead of chicken. No particular reason. I just love salmon. I'm not really a fan of chicken pasta, but like I'll eat it like because I like my chicken, but I prefer salmon over like almost any other meat. Okay, so I got my little goods from Publix. Now I need to decide what I want to eat. Um I wanted kava, but honestly, I think I want something warm. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I took a shower when I got home. I ate my Chick-fil-A and I took a little nap because I was so tired from the gym. Like working out in the day, like during the day, I don't know why, it just makes me so exhausted every single time. So y'all took the best shower ever. So I re on some of my products from Trader Joe's. Let me show y'all. This like lavender, scrub coconut body butter girl be having me feeling so good like my skin be feeling so nice and so smooth after that shower is literally crazy so i was asleep like a baby so i'm about to get started on handling these nails they look crazy so let's go over to my baby room okay so So this is basically like my like beauty, makeup, working office room, whatever you want to call it. Um, I haven't really finished decorating it. Honestly, I kind of just gave up or took kind of a break on decorating my house. I don't know if you guys have watched like my pre previous vlogs, 
but I bought this house about a year ago um and I did like a lot of decorating and stuff like that and just remodeling and stuff so I am kind of taking a break for the time being but this is where I usually do like my makeup my hair my nails that's why the desk is kind of looking real rough like it's been through some things because I get all types of stuff on this desk um I also work from here I have a custom iMac right here but yeah so let me show you guys where I store all my makeup and how I do everything in here so one second okay so I kind of just keep my little mirror right here um and so when I do my makeup I usually just pull my mirror out onto the desk it's an LED mirror I was supposed to get like storage and stuff back here and like do like an accent wall. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, but anyway, in here is where I store all my stuff. So I have um, just like hair care, skincare, like extra stuff. I keep all my travel size, like um, toiletries and stuff like that for when I travel in here. My nail stuff, hair clips, bunch of nail polish, more nail supplies my led lights for my nails this is like um where i store like camera equipment um uh, this is like extra cords and stuff like that um i'm probably not gonna open these but this top drawer is like makeup it looks a mess um this is like hair prod this is like hair tools hot tools like curling irons blow dryers and stuff like that because like i said i do do my my hair in here too um, this is like my nail stuff. So I have like a bunch of nail equipment in here. It looks crazy. But, um, and then at the bottom, this is like more tech stuff. Honestly, I'm starting to realize that I need even more storage. At first, this storage was cool, but I'm filling it up so fast. Um, this is like makeup. This is an extra air mattress for when I have guests sometimes. Like I had all my line sisters over here like recently, um, and so, like, I, when I need extra, extra storage, I have a guest room, but sometimes I'll put a couple air mattresses in this room, push my guests back, and, like, let my guests sleep in here, too. So, I usually keep, like, extra blankets and pillows and stuff like that down there. This is just my little throwaway closet, so, yeah. Um, and then, of course, we have my piano, which I love. It's so cute. It's off right now, but so cute. I try to practice at least once a week. Um, for those of you that don't know, I take private piano lessons every week. Um, and I've been taking them for about nine, like 10 months now. So that's going splendid. But anyway, let's get into what we came here for, um, which is to do my nails. So I'm just going to take this little nail care bucket. This has like all of the stuff that I normally get. And then, I don't know how I'm going to do my nails today. I kind of want to keep it simple. But I might not decide until I see what, what the time is looking like. So, I'm just going to get all the basic stuff for my little Apray towel. And then I got my, like, light LED light from Apray as well. Okay, so while I am doing my nails, I usually like to either listen to my book, I might watch something on like Netflix or something like that. But today I'm watching a basketball game. I'm watching Connecticut Sun versus the Aces. I'm definitely rooting for the Aces this year because I love AJ Wilson and I just love their team. But DJ Carrington is my girl. That girl on and off the court. But I actually got to see DJ play in person like a couple weeks ago was so fun she came here to play against elena dream um but yeah so luckily i've already soaked off my nails like i said everything a couple days ago i do gel extensions it's actually like a pretty simple and straightforward process I've been all in my phone, I got options And I 
don't wanna tell you to drop me But I don't wanna play your fair Yeah, something That makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give it something Baby, I can run all the time I'm talking crazy. I need you my space. Okay, so I just finished my nails. Very cutesy, very simple. I'm like, for the most part, I almost always have a colored French tip on my nails. Like, I like color and I like French tips, so I just like to keep it real simple, real cutesy. Um, so it's like 10 12, so I'm about to get started with dinner. We already knew today was gonna be like a late dinner, so. You know, this is our little Friday night vibe. And, uh, ooh. Yeah, pasta is really quick. So, shouldn't take that long to make. Honestly, the hardest part is going to be the charcuterie board. That kind of takes forever. Don't close your eyes to get away. Just bang my line and I'll arrange it. Beautiful girl, you're stainless. You'll be fine. And then I got a little frozen sangria. Mm, 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 mm. Really refreshing and really delicious. I might like this better than froze. I'm so excited to start eating. First bites. Mm hot. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Now to taste the first wine. Jam jar. It says that it is Sweet Shiraz 2022. Packed with juicy berry flavors and hints of dark chocolate. Ooh, I usually don't like anything that says hints of dark chocolate. Jam Jar makes a versatile partner for everything from cheeseburgers to chocolate pudding. Best served lightly chilled. It offers luscious, fruity goodness in every sip. By the way, I already popped one of my nails off on accident. So I'm gonna have to redo that. Mm. I definitely can taste the dark chocolate part that they're speaking of. Maybe if it was a little colder, I would like it more. Hmm. Okay. Now that I'm past the dramatic part, it's not bad. It's very, you know that feeling when you, when you, how your tongue feels when you eat something sour and it makes your tongue just kind of like, that's how it tastes to me. It's very, so it's very like, it has a lot of flavor. I just said that it's really activating the taste buds. I wonder what percent alcohol this is. It tastes like it's strong. Oh, it is. 12.5. Well, in that case, it's not that bad. Okay, I made my first little concoction. I have like some brie at the bottom. You can't really tell. Oh, there's the brie. You can see it right here. It's all creamy. And then I got a little bit of fig butter on top in between the brie. Then I got the spicy, I wanna say this is like spicy salami. A little bit of my grilled peppers. I didn't show this off on camera, oh, on camera, but I did saute some 
like a bunch of peppers and um, garlic and butter. And then I have my little olive on top. So let's see. Wow. That was a lot of different flavors. The olive definitely overpowered the whole thing. And then the salami being spicy is like also the spice is like overpowering. My cracker, I got my brie. I drizzled some honey on top with some prosciutto and then a strawberry. That was really good. I love what the strawberry does. Mm. Yeah, monitor. Riding around in my whip, my whip. Listening to my shit, my shit. She wanna hit track six, track six. She told me that's her. Yeah. Every girl said I got the title. Got a nigga feeling like Michael Jackson. Jordan. Jordan. No matter to me, they both. Yeah. If I didn't mind, but hit on girl, would you still? If I minimize my net worth, would you still? Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than two Keep it a whole one hundred, don't got you, I got now I'm on the way, we ain't got no time to waste Popping your gum on the way, am I in the way? No, I won't pressure you none, I want your best in the day Oh, by the way, open the door, by the way Told you that I'm on the way, I'm on the way I know connection is big, pick up the phone for me Hey guys, it's Saturday Um, I wasn't gonna vlog today but we'll see where the day takes me. I just got dressed. Um, I'm about to fix my nail that popped off yesterday because I obviously can't leave the house with a nail missing. So I'm fixing that now. And then I'm going to pick up my friend Michaela and we're going to go to Target. I might hit up a little coffee shop or something like that today. We'll see. I haven't really like fully decided what I want to do today. This would be a good time to show you guys how to apply gel X. So first, you want to prep your nail with the bonder and then the primer. And then you want to put a layer of the, what is this? The Extend Gel. Then you put it under a light for like 30 seconds or whatever. Prep the nail with this gel X prep. Um, so you just kind of scrub the nail with it. And then you put a little bit of the extend gel kind of like at the tip of the nail if you can kind of see then you want to take your little flashlight take your little flashlight and then you want to like apply the nail at like a 45 degree angle and flash cure it honestly yesterday when i was doing my nails i knew that i was kind of like rushing a little bit because I needed to have to dinner and they were kind of coming out sloppy. So I'm not surprised that one of them popped off. The color that I use for my base is this color called Forgotten Film. Oops. And then to do my little design, I just take my color, which is fairy light, I'm pretty sure. Easy peasy. I don't know if you guys can see. I am like 10 minutes away now or 9 minutes away from my friend's house. This is what I want to get at Target. So I'll need some new body wash. I need to restock up on some lotion. I want to get my usual vanilla cashmere scent, but I also want to try a different scent. I feel like all my lotions besides my um, coconut body butter are like vanilla scented and it kind of clashes with the perfumes that I wear because all my perfumes are like floral So, I want to try to get like, um, you know, just something that like, maybe a, a floral fragrance perfume, or not perfume, maybe a floral fragrance um, lotion or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to see what they have. I need some deodorant. I need, but y'all, I'm feeling so low energy because I'm so hungry. But y'all, what I'm really craving is those saucy Santana spicy barbecue nuggets from Wendy's. Wendy's ate with their saucy nuggets. Like, I know it's just their regular sauces that they have and they just toss it in there. But when I say those nuggets are so good, like I have to get Wendy's ASAP. 
that's what I want like before I get to Target so I hope she's okay with stopping because I'm gonna be so hungry ah! <laughs> I'm suffering oh wait is that Wendy's no that's not Wendy's false alarm false alarm Dang it, that was Avenue, North by the West. way this is a different camera than what i used day one day one i was using my phone and now i'm using this camera so let me know in the comments which camera you guys like better why am i so tired like are you okay i'm literally exhausted and i didn't even really drink that much yesterday like i feel like i had probably like a total of like three glasses of wine in 500 feet turn right then your destination that, will be on. We kind of match. Oh, so cute. Okay, love. Um, I'm so hungry. I want to stop at Wendy's. Okay. Cause don't you have dinner later? Yeah, she's making us some food. Oh, okay. So we can just do. Oh, this fast is cute. Food. Thanks. Wait. So there's a thing. little camera on it. I don't think I've ever seen this. Before. Really? I feel like it's all over TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah. The. Osmo Pocket. Um, How much does this cost? Too. I think the creator kit was like 600 and it came with like this. This is like a little charger. That's not bad. The gimbal. This little gimbal thing. And it comes with a mic, a carrying case, and like another carrying case to go over the camera. I feel like that's a good deal. Yeah. I had to buy it twice though. Oh, Because I bought, I bought it and then long story short it got lost slash stolen mm. in Cabo oh. the first time I was using it the first time I tried to use it and then now yeah like, oh yeah, 1600 like so that's much. great um which one else got me some I think this one maybe it didn't get a lot of engagement but I think people have been liking those like TJ Maxx Marshalls yeah, content because got... like I've been seeing um, like other like big influencers post like Marshall's hauls and stuff like that. Of, like, yeah. and it's always surprising. You know, Marshall is so cheap, but like they be having some cute clothes. Maybe you could do a clothing haul there. For this, this one got me a good. This one, the TJ Maxx one, is what got oh, me the thank most you. engagement. This one was very random to me. I don't know why. You've had some bangers. I don't think any of my um, TikToks <laughs> have made a thousand. Both likes. of them were very unexpected. Ladies and gentlemen. There's something about this yeah. girl that from around she my way. Every time I try to hold back your feelings, yeah. but it just wouldn't stay. But when I finally found the words to say, I wanted to run away. So far, I got this lotion, which I already use the vanilla cashmere, but. I want to get something that doesn't like clash in my perfume as much so I got the pomegranate raspberry refills for my soap spray um soap for me and my boyfriend and I got some scrub mommies I prefer scrub daddy the scrub mommy has like the sponge on the back and I don't really like that but they're out of the scrub daddy so I got this one. Okay, what else is on the list? Let's see. Okay, I got Jir Cookie Latte Creamer. Pumpkin Spice Latte Creamer. This sweet cold foam is really good. So delicious. Pods for my espresso. Okay, I really want this. Not today though, but I'm gonna ask for it for like Christmas or something. Either this or I just seen a really, really cute one on TikTok recently. So I was like, ooh, that looks even better. Do you ever decorate for like Halloween or like fall? I used to, but I haven't really done it as much in my these last few years. I don't know. The Christian woman in me can't can't uh, decorate for Halloween. Did but you like to celebrate Halloween? Because I like to celebrate. I just no, like No, not really. Like not really as an adult. Oh, I always love these speakers. 
They're so cute. Yeah. Okay. How cute is this? Thank you. Dude, what are some ball activities that you like? Mm, stay in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'm going to be yours next month. That's too really Yeah. I meant to ask you. I meant to ask you about hotels I stay in. Ooh, tell me. That's why you so said it last time. Yeah. So cute. Yeah, it's my first time going to New York. And the location is really good because you can walk to Soho. Is it close to Brooklyn? I want to start traveling more in the quarter month. Yeah. I'm going to Cabo and no, you're going to Cabo. At the end of next month. So. But I want to do something. Go with? It's for my um, best, like one of my best friends' 30th birthday. Okay. And then um, go to Ashland. I'm going to Colorado in January for my other close friend's 30th birthday. Yeah, I really wanted to go to uh, Ashland. It looks so fun. Yeah, we're gonna do like a weekend, and it's like she's doing like a country club theme type yeah. of thing. So it's gonna be really cute. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got my lashes done. Um, what else? So, yeah, Target, girl talk with my friend, and then I went and got my lashes done. I just finished up. They look so nice and full. Now I'm debating what I want to do for tonight. I definitely don't want to be in. I don't know if I want to do, like, a little date night type of situation or if I want to hang out with one of my friends. I don't know. I'm definitely in the mood to get dressed and everything okay guys i am at my desk with my wine i'm about to um do my makeup and then i'm going out with my friend casey we're actually neighbors so that's how i met her um but we're about to just go to this little spot well actually i don't even know where we're going but anyway so i'm about to do my makeup should I do like a little get ready with me? I think so. I'm just gonna push my edges out the way. But first I like to start with a little bit of primer. I'm gonna do like, this is gonna be a quick routine. So hopefully this is like no more than 20 minutes. It's, and then I use my house labs foundation in the shade 490. And then I try to do like a little bit of laundry cause I'm, in the middle of washing my sheets but washing sheets is literally the worst part of my week like i hate having to do that and then like if you have a duvet you know it's like so inconvenient putting it on anyway this is the hourglass concealer in the shade maple okay so i got that first layer this is like my accelerated routine, so okay. I just like to use this Fenty contour stick in the shade Espresso. Honestly, needed a darker shade, but I haven't bought, bought it yet. But I really do like this contour stick, honestly. You really just can't go wrong with these, honestly. Because um, I also would like my Morphe one, which I think is discontinued, and this is in the shade Effect 19. This is like a darker one, so I just put a little bit of this on top just to deepen it a little bit. Brush, spray, spray, spray. Just to loosen that up. You especially want to spray with the contour because I feel like it's so hard to blend it out. Nose contour is literally like a part of my makeup that I would never ever skip. We're at 12 minutes exactly right now. I just kind of push the powder into my... This comes out so strong. This Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 4 which is like their deep tone. We're gonna put on some blush tonight. There we go. I love this Charlotte Til Tilbury, Tilbury airbrush spray, but the way it just comes out just so, I don't know. They need a different like spray bottle. 
Oh gosh, I'm getting attacked by some settings right now. I feel like none of the lighting is really showing how great my makeup looks, but that's okay. Cause I know deep down in my heart what the vibes are. Okay. I'm headed out now on my way to pick up Casey. My boyfriend is chauffeuring us. <laughs> um it's 11 13 so or 11 15 so a little bit of a late start but we're about to go to 404 and my friend Keisha works there so hopefully we see her tonight and she's able to serve us Shots in. Couple drinks, several shots. Few drinks, few drinks, few drinks. Nice egg rolls. Turn left on Lincoln. That's a great taco. It's a great taco. Yeah. Nice, vibes, nice hookah. Nice music. Definitely we'll be back to 404. Nice people. Very nice people. Um, Mr. Uber, sir. Yes. Do you think we can play music? Yeah, me too. Awesome. Hi. Bluetooth music, perhaps? You say Bluetooth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. All right, let's figure it out. This is a rental. Okay. <laughs> I haven't tried it before. <laughs> or Oxcord. Yay. Yay! Can you turn it up, please? It out. Yeah, I can turn it up on my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's 4.10. It's definitely giving 1 p.m. church service tomorrow because it's late. But I'm about to take a shower, take off my makeup and stuff. So, good night. Good morning. I'm on my way to church. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about my church. So, I, in Chicago, I used to go to Fellowship Chicago, and I used to love, 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 like, love that church. Like, I did not miss a week. Like, I loved Fellowship. Um, and then when I moved here, you know, I was really sad to see my church go. So I did a little church shopping because I really wanted the same types of vibes as Fellowship Chicago. And, like, all of the signs were leaning towards the fact that I needed to try change. Like, anytime somebody would say something about change or post something about change, I was kind of thinking in my head, like, I feel like that's going to be the that's gonna be the one. You know what I'm saying? But it's just so far that I tried it last. Like, I didn't want, I didn't want it to be the one because who wants to make church, you know, 45 minutes away? Like, that's literally ridiculous. So... Yeah, I was just like trying to try other churches first. Um, and I just really couldn't find the vibe for me. And the type of vibe that I like is I just like a young, like, cultured, like, I don't even know how to explain it, like, dope type of church. Um, I like a really good praise and worship. And I'm like really big on, you know, obviously the message has to be really good. I like young pastors. Um, just like that type of vibe. Yeah, everything was leading towards the fact that I needed to take my butt to change. So the other churches I like, I tried, like they was either 
just too like suburban feeling or too older feeling or like just that Baptist feeling you know what I mean like I don't know like I just couldn't find one and then like again like all these coincidences kept happening then I finally reached out to my old pastor and I was like hey do you have church recommendations because you know I'm struggling to find a church here and he was like you should try to change I was like great everybody keeps saying change anyway ended up going to change my first night going was fire night it was like a 5 p.m. service um literally oh my gosh obsessed that was like one of the best services I've ever went to and then to put the icing on the cake I'm like okay let me just keep coming back so I went back like one more time so fire night is like a little bit different because it's, it's praise and worship the whole night so it's not it's not exactly reflective like how church is gonna be but it was turned like it was so much fun and I'm like you know maybe this is like a false representation of how church is you know what I mean but no church is literally just like that like every church surface is just so high energy I don't know it just makes me feel really good being there and um, like I don't know and I just I just love it like I can literally go on and on about this church but anyway so I end up going back and then to like put the icing on the cake put the icing on the cake I want to say like my second or third time going guess who was the pastor that week like it was like a guest pastor they had a guest pastor and guess who the pastor was my pastor from Chicago and it was like oh my god this is literally a sign from God like that you at the right place baby girl so it was just so nice like first of all I, I really was so happy to see him again like um like see him preach again most weeks me and my boyfriend go together so I don't always have to make the drive um because he'll just drive but yeah the 45 minutes is so worth it and honestly I'm about to stop talking because it's like to listen to my gospel music and just you know get ready for church and yeah guys I hope that you guys find a church that makes you feel the same way that I feel. Hi, welcome Hi. was so good today um but i'm about to head home i got again a 41 minute drive oh my gosh and then i'm probably going to go um hang out with my friend kennedy um she's just gonna go watch the game so we're just gonna go probably like i think they said botsy or something like that and just kind of hop around happen so i need to get home and i need to get dressed very very quickly like literally in like 20 minutes or less because I think we're trying to meet at 4 30 and I, I don't get home until 3 41 so I gotta hurry up hey guys okay so I obviously quickly got dressed and I'm about to head out I just have on this like cute little top that I got from J Lux the label I have on these jeans and then I have my pink jockey's bag and my white Hermes Orion sandals. Just a cute little daytime vibe. Did my makeup real cute. But now I'm about to head out. I think I'm going to drive because I honestly don't think I'm going to be um, drinking that much. So yeah, we'll see. Guys, I'm leaving my house now. Let me close my garage. But um, yeah, I had just decided to drive because I don't really think I'm going to be drinking for real, especially since I went out last night. Um, I'll probably have like one or two cocktails and call it a day. Like, I'm not going hard. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Bati is about 
It's actually far as fuck from where I live. It's 29 minutes away. Ugh. I swear. Everything, everything in Atlanta is just... <sighs> I hate driving. And of course, it's a fucking 30 minute drive. Like, ugh. So annoying. Okay, y'all. So, I just pulled up. It's so crazy how empty it is here. Like, I'm in the parking lot. Because when I first started coming to Batsy, like, this used to be the spot. Like, it used to always be jumping. Granted, I used to mostly come on, like, Fridays and Saturdays. But, like, I want to say, like, four out of the last five times I've been here, it's literally been empty. Like, what is going on with Atlanta? Because this is actually a great restaurant. So, I'm just really so confused as to why it's so empty. Like, did everybody move away or something? Oh shit, you scared me. Hi. Yeah. Hey, Mike. Hey, Kennedy. Oh, shoot. Damn. I'm so, I'm so damn. I think it's too many chairs. I'm weak that it's empty in here. Because I feel like last, don't you think last summer this used to be? I think it goes. Where'd you end up going? Um, Were you at the concert? You was at Juice Park? No, I didn't. I went to. Uh, um, I went to Oral Four Lounge, and then I was at Splash. I love it. The music was good. Good vibes. Good. The prices are really cheap. And then afterwards, bro, we went to this ghetto ass spot. It's next to Babylon, I think Blue Lagoon or something. Oh, you had a night. <laughs> that was me so won't be going back there. Where were you at yesterday? Uh how you find it? I like it. Okay. Yeah. Is that a I'm about to leave the other bark in this comment, so she'll take it over. Okay. Thank you so much for the drink. Yeah, Thank you. It looks so cute. Thank you. And it's strong too. Oh, they strong. Yeah. Oh, Thank Lord. you. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this shit, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Uno of those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. 